Ooh. I've got this MacBook and the magnetic power lead. Got a problem with it. It keeps on flashing on and off. This is not good because I think it's powering and charging the batteries and it isn't. If I'm going to hold the connector with my thumb to make sure that it doesn't move in the magnetic slot and then move the cable and see what happens, see if it comes on and off. It did come on and off there. Right, it's coming on and off. And you have to just determine whether, whether it is the cable that's at fault or the little connectors inside. And I think it is the cable. Quite often cables like this break around here or anywhere inside this part here because of the metal fatigue of the wire being pulled out all the time. Pretty sure it isn't these connectors here or in here. So I've looked and I've cleaned everything, I've checked the little pins and that all seems in good order. So the next stage is um, I'm going to slice the sleeving here with a blade and I'm also going to slice the um, cable outer sheath to reveal the inner cables. Hopefully I'll be able to find out if one of those is broken and possibly then repair it. This is the first stage of the repair job and if I can find a cable that's broken here I can usually repair it. It's not ideal but it's just a repair. I am not looking forward to the next part where I'm going to have to try and get this bit out of this tube because it looks like it's really stuck very well in position. That attaches to the magnetic part. I got hold of that very carefully with a pair of grips and pulled it off this way uh, and it came away and, it, and it, then it um, showed me the inside which is just left behind and I got a tiny screwdriver and carefully prized it out while pushing the cable through this way, through this little steel tube. Right in the dead center is the break in the screened cable, which is the outer cable of the sheath, which goes inside the cable. And if I just I thought it was a break in the cable first of all, but it wasn't. So I paired back the outer sheath of the cable, and that is the, the what you're seeing there. That wire is the screen cable, which is probably the negative. What's happened is over time, uh, metal fatigue has caused that to fracture at that point. I've never done this before, so this is the first time. But there. On, the, on this thing is a tiny, tiny PCB type of thing with an LED in the centre and it looks like some really tiny components which go on there. It's got exactly the same in the other side except it's got a little, well, a little there's a little chip there I think. Okay, so I've got the cable, there's the magnetic connector and I've also cut two sleeves of um, heat shrink cable, heat shrink sleeving, which is about that long. And what happens is this stuff shrinks when it gets hot with the soldering iron. And you can buy that from a number of places online. And um, so the next job, I can't film and do this at the same time, unfortunately. I've just finished soldering the connector on and as you can see now it's, it's looking a bit better now. I haven't put the heat shrink around it. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit. Um, the, the two solder connections are quite 
neat as well, neat as I can do, uh, but they are quite critical. I think if they're too, if you put too much solder on, then it's not going to fit into the little container. So the next job will be to move those pieces of sleeving over the connectors as far as I can go and shrink them down. Now finished the soldering and I've put this heat shrink around the connectors to make sure they don't short out. I've double checked to make sure there isn't any wires anywhere. So I desoldered it, cut the wire off, fed through more wire, cut it off, re-soldered it back on here and I've redone the little bits of heat shrink cabling that were here and here and I've put on the little crimped circlip type of piece of metal around here as it was and I've tested it and luckily it all works. You've just got to be careful not to put too much heat when you solder it to there and to there. So now I'm going to try and feed it back on and into the connector. So it slides in, it's a bit of a job. Let's just see if we can get it in and we just keep just fiddling around, bending it and uh, eventually we hope it will go in with a little... So here we have the finished, well the reassembled connector. What I'm going to do to make sure it doesn't sort of happen again more easily is I'm going to put a larger piece of heat shrink around the, the connector like that. As you can see now I've done the repair and it's got the heat shrink sleeving on here and the green light is on and I can unplug it it comes off and the green light comes on which is a good news it also works the other way the other modification I did think about and maybe to stop it happening again would be to bend the cable over, not too tightly, and then put another piece of heat shrink uh, sleeving on at this point here. That would then prevent it from doing what it has done. So I might just do that. But anyway, if your cable breaks and you have a soldering iron and some heat shrink sleeving and a bit of patience, you can fix your MacBook magnetic power supply.